The Monster Study In 1939, researchers at the University of Iowa carried out one of the most disturbing psychological experiments ever attempted, later known as the Monster Study. Led by speech pathologist Wendell Johnson, 22 orphans were divided into two groups. One group was praised and encouraged for their speech. The other, they were ridiculed, shamed, and told they were destined to stutter even if they didn't. The results were devastating. Many children in the negative group developed lifelong speech problems, anxiety, and emotional trauma. Johnson believed he was proving that stuttering could be taught, but the ethical cost was horrific. The experiment was kept hidden for decades. Survivors only learned the truth in the 2000s and sued the state of Iowa, which finally issued an apology and paid damages. The monster study remains one of psychology's darkest secrets, proof that the pursuit of knowledge can sometimes destroy lives. The Stanford Prison Experiment In 1971, psychologist Philip Zimbardo transformed the basement of Stanford University into a fake prison. Volunteers were assigned roles as either guards or prisoners. What started as a psychology experiment quickly spiraled into a nightmare. The guards became sadistic within days, humiliating and psychologically tormenting the prisoners. The prisoners, stripped of dignity, broke down emotionally and begged to be released. It was supposed to last two weeks. It ended in just six days. Zimbardo himself was so immersed in his role as prison warden that he allowed the abuse to continue until a colleague intervened. The experiment revealed a chilling truth. Ordinary people can become cruel when given unchecked power. It also raised serious ethical questions about just how far scientists will go in the name of research. The Milgram Obedience Experiment In 1961, Yale psychologist Stanley Milgram wanted to understand how far people would go when obeying authority. He devised a shocking experiment. Literally, participants were told they were helping with a memory study. Each time a learner gave a wrong answer, they were instructed to administer an electric shock, increasing the voltage each time. The shocks weren't real, but the participants didn't know that. As the learner screamed in pain, begged for mercy, and eventually went silent, Milgram calmly told participants to continue. Astonishingly, 65% obeyed all the way to the maximum voltage, potentially lethal. The experiment shocked the world. It revealed how easily ordinary people could commit atrocities when following orders, echoing the horrors of Nazi Germany. But it also left scars. Many participants were traumatized, and the study is still debated for its ethics today. The Russian Dog Head Transplants In the 1940s, Soviet scientist Sergei Brukhonenko conducted experiments that sounded like something out of a horror film. Using a device called the autojector, he managed to keep decapitated dog heads alive by pumping oxygenated blood through them. Then he went further. Brukhonenko attempted dog head transplants, attaching one dog's head onto another's body. For a brief time, both heads would respond, blinking, licking, even attempting to bark. When footage of the experiments emerged, the world was horrified. Yet Brukhonenko's work paved the way for modern organ transplants and life support technology. These experiments are still cited as some of the most horrifying in history, blurring the line between scientific progress and pure cruelty. The Isolated Monkey Experiments Psychologist Harry Harlow became infamous in the 1960s for his cruel isolation experiments on rhesus monkeys. Infant monkeys were placed in what he called the pit of despair, dark, empty cages where they lived completely alone for weeks or months. Many of the monkeys stopped responding to the world around them. Some hurt themselves, while others completely gave up and died. Harlow had already shocked people with his earlier experiments, showing that baby monkeys preferred soft, cuddly mothers over cold wire ones that gave them food. But these isolation experiments took his research to horrifying new levels. Harlow claimed his work proved the necessity of maternal love and social bonds, but his methods permanently scarred the animals. His research helped reshape child-rearing practices, but at a cost that many believe was unforgivable. Human Radiation Experiments For nearly 30 years, the U.S. government secretly carried out radiation experiments on unsuspecting civilians and soldiers. Patients were injected with plutonium. Pregnant women were given radioactive vitamins. Prisoners were bombarded with massive radiation doses, all without consent. The goal was to study radiation's effects on the human body during the Cold War. The result? Sickness, deformities, and death for many of the test subjects. These experiments weren't exposed until the 1990s, when declassified documents revealed the scale of the program. The scandal rocked the nation and showed how national security could be used to justify horrific abuses of power. Alan Turing and Chemical Castration Alan Turing, the mathematical genius who helped win World War II by breaking Nazi codes, was persecuted by his own government. In 1952, Britain convicted Turing for gross indecency simply for being gay. 
Instead of prison, he was forced to undergo chemical castration, powerful hormone treatments meant to suppress his sexuality. The injections destroyed his body and mental health. Two years later, Turing was found dead from cyanide poisoning, likely suicide. The British government only apologized decades later, but the damage was done. Turing's treatment is now remembered as one of the most tragic examples of how prejudice can masquerade as science. The Elephant on LSD In 1962, researchers at the University of Oklahoma injected a 7,000-pound elephant named Tusco with an enormous dose of LSD, 3,000 times the typical human dose. They wanted to see if the drug would trigger a violent hormonal state called MUST. Instead, Tusco collapsed, seized, and died within hours. The experiment was widely condemned as reckless and cruel. It also revealed how little scientists understood about the drugs they were testing at the time. Tusco's death became a grim cautionary tale about the dangers of pushing boundaries without fully understanding the consequences. The Milgram-like sleep deprivation experiments. Sleep deprivation experiments have always been controversial, but one stands out. In 1964, high school student Randy Gardner stayed awake for 11 straight days as part of a supervised science project. As the days dragged on, Gardner's mental state deteriorated. He hallucinated, became paranoid, and suffered serious memory lapses. Doctors feared for his life, but Gardner eventually recovered, barely. Decades later, the story would inspire the infamous Russian sleep experiment Creepypasta, a fictional account of prisoners kept awake until they went insane and mutilated themselves. But Gardner's real ordeal proved just how fragile the human mind becomes when pushed beyond its limits. Alexis Carell's Transplant Experiments in the early 1900s, French surgeon Alexis Carrel claimed he could keep animal organs alive indefinitely. To prove it, he allegedly transplanted dog faces and even entire heads onto other dogs. Carrel's experiments were shrouded in mystery, but they inspired decades of transplant research. He even created special techniques for sewing blood vessels together which made the first successful organ transplants possible. However, Carell's willingness to blur ethical lines and his later support for eugenics has left a dark stain on his legacy. His work remains a reminder that pioneering science often comes at a heavy moral cost. Unit 731's Human Experiments One of the darkest chapters in scientific history was Unit 731, a covert biological warfare research division of the Japanese Imperial Army during World War II. Prisoners, Chinese civilians, POWs, and even children were subjected to horrific experiments. Victims were cut open and experimented on while still alive without anesthesia, deliberately infected with plague and anthrax, and used to test grenades and flamethrowers. The atrocities were so barbaric that even Nazi doctors were shocked upon hearing about them. Yet after the war, many of Unit 731's leaders avoided justice. The U.S. secretly granted them immunity in exchange for their biological warfare data which was deemed valuable. The crimes of Unit 731 were buried for decades, and survivors rarely spoke of the horrors. When details finally emerged, the world was horrified. This remains one of the clearest examples of science being twisted into pure evil, NASA's Spider on Drugs experiment. In the mid-1990s, NASA decided to test how drugs affected spiders' ability to spin webs. Scientists dosed spiders with caffeine, LSD, marijuana, and amphetamines and watched as their webs became increasingly bizarre. The results were oddly fascinating. Spiders on LSD created oddly symmetrical webs, those on caffeine spun completely chaotic messes, and others simply gave up entirely. While the experiment was meant to help study toxicology and the effects of different chemicals, the images of drugged spiders went viral years later. It's one of those strange stories that make you wonder, did we really need to give crack to a spider to figure this out?